Okay, hello and welcome to the unofficial Sonic Book audiobook streaming Android app tutorial. I'm going to go over a few small things that I found really useful when trying to set this up. This is not how to set up the server, just how to set up the Android app. I will be doing a later video on how to set up the server itself. So, let's go ahead. If you've used Plex, this is really similar to Plex, but for audiobooks. It's a great service, and I'm really excited. The app itself right here is about $3, and it's worth every penny. You know, I've got several hundred, probably close to a thousand audiobooks, and this is a nice way for me to keep them all with me at all times. So let's go ahead and open this. Now I'm running this on a Nexus 6P. This is an Android-only app at the moment. Okay, so when you boot up the app, you're going to see, you know, Book Sonic Welcome screen. Uh, it's going to come with a demo server. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, the demo server's got some podcasts and things like that. Uh, what you're going to want to do is come up here to this hamburger menu at the top, and then go down to the settings. And you're going to see server, appearance, a couple other things. First thing we want to do is go up to server. And this comes with a demo server. Now, I was not being smart. I clicked on this demo server and I looked and I saw where it said server address, username, password. I'm like, I got this. I know what I'm doing. And I deleted this. I had to delete the app and reinstall to get this back because something about the way this is set up you need and I don't know what it is. So instead of deleting that and, hitting, and adding your own server, let's just go ahead and modify this. So what you're going to do is going to go ahead and put in your server address. I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to do this and then come back to this part. And you're going to want to put your HTTP colon, uh, colon slash slash, your IP address colon, and then your port number. Now I'm using 414 because I had some issues setting up the server to begin with and 4040 was already being used. Then you want to go ahead and use your, uh, your username. You want to click the, the down button to save that. And same thing with your password. All right, then you go test connection, and you see should see test connection. Okay. Now I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna have these installed with my personal server, so just be patient. It'll be for you. It's gonna be a quick cut. For me, it's gonna be a little bit. Be right back. Okay, so I got my server information in. I'm gonna come back out here. Now yours may still say demo and uh, guest. If that happens, just go ahead and hit your uh, task manager button. Close out the app. Come back in. Open it back up. And when it comes back up, it should say whatever you named your server and then whatever your username is. So you've got a couple things here. You've got your library, your playlist, your podcast, your bookmarks, share, chat, and, and then your users. Now, if we go, let's go to our library. You can see that here's all the authors I currently have in here. If I want to play a book, I click on that. It's going to talk to the server, and it's going to start loading all my books. I'm a really big Stephen King fan, as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of different books in here. So let's just pick one at random. Uh, let's go up to um, this one right here. Now, you're not going to be able to scrub immediately when loading these books because it's going to start downloading this book from the server. So it's actually going to be start caching the, the tracks ahead of this. So I'm going to hit play. It's going to take a second here to start. And it's actually going to start loading this in. Now, as it begins to load in, you're finally going to get like little scrubbies at the bottom, which allow you to do that. Let's see, I might have one book that's already got scrubbies in it. So now you can see here that we have scrubbies that we can go ahead and, and use. Um, if you've started a book and you're like, I want to get back to the book, but every time I click on it to play again, it starts over again. like this what you need to do is go over here to bookmarks it's gonna keep all of your bookmarks here so you can see here's all the bookmarks I have for all the books I'm currently listening to uh, one of the thing I wanted to let you know about that was a pain in the butt to me get down to settings and then you go to playback I like to go ahead and uh, where it says temporary loss of focus change that to always pause. I drive about an hour to and from work every day and this allows me to go ahead into my GPS gives me a notification or I get an email notification it doesn't just keep playing underneath that notification it actually pauses your book and then brings it back online. The other thing I like to do is for the syncing 
Um, I like to go ahead and, I'm sorry, not syncing, uh, networking here. I like to tell it to preload tracks on Wi-Fi unlimited. It's going to do that up to 2,000 megabytes of catch. You can always increase that catch. But that way when you're like, you know, listening to a book, it'll start loading the rest of that book when you're on Wi-Fi and it won't use your cellular data. So, if you have any questions about this, go ahead and uh, post in the comments. Or I'm also going to post a link to the support email address for this. And I am going to do a later date video on how to actually use the server. So thank you so much for watching. and.